Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you about how to create steam or smoke. So take this picture here for instance. Now there is no actual steam um, coming from the actual cup of tea. So it doesn't actually show that it's hot. So it looks a bit cold at the moment. So we're going to add some steam to show that it's really hot. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to open our picture that we want to uh, put the effect onto and then from there we're going to go to the pen tool so on the left hand side and we're going to create a new blank layer which you can do on the bottom right hand side on the new blank layer icon and from there what we're going to do is we're going to make our shape now first things first is you want to go to the top once you select the pen tool and make sure that you've got the shape button selected so the first one at the top and you can just basically make your shape how you want it like there so brown there and from that we can go to filter and we're gonna go to blur and Gaussian blur first of all click OK from that and then we're gonna have a radius of 16 pixels click OK and then from here we're going to go and have a new filter and we're going to go down to waves so distort and wave and from here you really need to play around with the settings depending on uh, the shape and stuff like that, that you've done uh, you want to play around with it but for this one we're just going to go and stick with these numbers here so 625 for the number of generators and the next one is wavelength, so that's going to be 113 and max is going to be 287. The amplitude is going to be minimum 1 and max 2. The scale is going to be 100% and 100% and then click OK. Give it some time. Now you can play around with that and do it as much as you want. So I might go and do that again so it's a little bit better. Um, so this is just a quick tutorial just showing you this so you're going to spend a lot more time with them settings So we're going to go back to filter and we're going to go to distort again and we're going to go to zigzag and The amount is going to be 30 and the ridges is going to be 4 You can play around with this settings again and the style is going to be around the center So make sure that you got that and then click OK Now we've got something quite like that. So that's pretty good and well then we're going to go back up to filter and we're going to give it another blur but this one's going to be a surface blur so we're going to put the radius at 62 and the threshold at 214 so that should be okay and then click ok and give it a little bit of time it needs to render uh, for the progress it can take on how fast your computer is at rendering the actual image so hopefully this won't take too long hopefully it won't does take a little while as I've got a lot of stuff rendering at the moment come on Photoshop here we go there we go and now once you have done that we need to uh, put a little bit of uh, texture on so we're going to make a new blank layer the bottom right hand side and from that we're going to go and hold down control and we're going to go to the smoke layer and we're going to click on uh, this smoke layer and it will select the smoke then we're going to go to filter we're going to go to render and we're going to go to clouds now you want to make sure before you press clouds that you have the top layer selected so we're putting that style on the top layer so clouds now that's a little bit strong at the moment so what we're going to go do is we're going to go and change the layer style to overlay somewhere about there and then we're going to go back down to the smoke layer Control and D to deselect that one and we're going to double click to bring up the layer style on the smoke layer and we're going to put satin uh, bring uh, onto levels so we're going to keep it multiply and set to black the opacity is going to be set to 30 and we're going to put the distance to 30 and we're just going to bring the size down to 13 and then we're going to go and click OK and then we're going to bring the opacity 
and you can bring this down to as low as you want so around there or depending if you spend a lot more time on this to get the right size and the right shape to your smoke or to your um, heat so you can really play around with this you can go to the select tool and move it around and you can even go to the um, the eraser tool sorry and select the brush you want so we're going to go to the top select that one and we can just go to the opacity bring that down to around 35 and you can even just take away uh, bits that you don't actually want we can just take away the smoke might bring the opacity up a little bit as I said this is just a very quick tutorial and you can just do what you want so something about there uh, that's pretty okay but as I said quick tutorial you're going to spend a lot more time on it than I am just to show you um, what sort of effects that you can create as long as you um, play around with the shape of the smoke and play around with them settings um, a bit more then you'll get the right sort of uh, feel to your image so that's just another way of making smoke so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please comment rate and subscribe please check out the website and I'll see you in other tutorials guys bye for now